Native EMF here with a quick review of the Fiat Bravo 2008 five door hatchback. We measured the low frequency direct current magnetic fields of this car so as to see how it compares to other UK road cars that we've measured in the past. The measurements were done using a gauss meter, therefore the units measured were in milligauss. So with the engine and headlights turned off when measuring in the footwell, it measured incredibly low at about 0.1 milligauss, but once we turned the engine and headlights on, it jumped up to 0.41 milligauss. On the driver's seat, there was a reading of about 0.08 milligauss, and in the head area, a reading of 0.06 milligauss. Now in the passenger's footwell, we had a reading of 0 0.60 milligauss, on the seating area 0 0.03 milligauss, and in the head area, 0 0.01 milligauss. Likewise in the rear of the car, both the seating and head area had no detectable readings. So overall, the 2008 Fiat Bravo had very low, low frequency direct current magnetic field readings at an average of 0 0.20 milligauss. Purely based on this average, it will be ranked as the third lowest EMF car that we've recorded. However, this 2008 model had the blue and me Fiat Bluetooth functionality enabled and there was no way to disable it. Bluetooth then creates an in-car high frequency 2.4 gigahertz electric field at about 10 volts per meter squared which violates the concept of a native EMF environment. Out of all the cars that we've measured this is the only one that had Bluetooth without the ability to turn it off and therefore it ranks last in our list of low EMF cars. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe and share and we will be back soon with more tips on how to create a native EMF environment in a technological world.